Okay, everyone, welcome to the channel again. Um, I've been trying to fix my ESP that I extended the antenna with, and it works fine. The antenna, um, I haven't adjusted it actually. So, but you know, antenna theory is a bit of a theory, not actual law. So, anyway, let's get back to here. I'm reprogramming this with ESP Easy. Now, I've got a different way of using ESP Easy now. I'll just quickly show you that. I go into my Sonoff stuff, and there is a flash tool, and then I use this one up the top when I open the flash tool. So if you open the flash tool, quickly open the flash tool, then you grab your hardware, which is that one there, and you flash it, ESP Easy will come up as its own uh, Wi-Fi network. You can log into it, add it to your Wi-Fi network, and then it will come up, well, before I get into edit, when you've logged this on, this software, you can go to, I'll just get it up. I know I'm a bit all over the shop today, but anyway, we'll go up here, and go to this site here and if you look at that site there I'll hold it there for a little while that site there will give you all the information of how to set up your ESP Easy um, all the way from the address of 192.168 I think it's 4.1 is its normal address in the web browser um, after you log into ESP Easy, which would be down the bottom under your Wi-Fi networks, down there on uh, Windows and Linux. It'll be pretty much similar. Linux is up the top because I've got a Linux box as well. I've got a couple of boxes actually, um, but I'm using the Windows, which drives me insane. Anyway, look, this has changed to this setup here, so. When I'm in my devices in hardware, I set up my um, my LED in hardware. So I come down here and I set up the GPIO uh, 4D2. No, that's not the one I wanted to do. I don't know why it's, it's reverted back, but it's meant to be... Hold on, I'll go back to here, because this is really handy, this page, as I said. Um, it should be GPIO 13. So GPIO 13, let's set that to GPIO 13. Come over here and set that. I might actually save it this time and make sure I'm saving some stuff along the way. Go down the bottom. So hey, submit that information. Okay, that's in. Now I have to go to devices again, and then I've got to edit this one, the input, which I haven't enabled it yet, but I've got it all set up pretty much. Oh no, I haven't, because I haven't got my first GPIO, and I think that's meant to be GPIO 6, maybe not. Let's double check. Yeah, D6, so it's GPIO 12. So then we come over here and we set it up for GPIO 12. It's a basic Sonoff, just call it Sonoff. I don't call it just basic because it's Sonoff starting to get so many bloody products going along. We need to keep up with uh, writing this right thing for the right product. So down here we check that that's on switch, that's on normal. And that is on zero delay. You'll switch down here and then we submit that. Okay, and anyway, what I'm trying to get at is this site here, which I'll try and put down the bottom of my information, will give you all the details for the basic son off. Now, what I have been doing today, other than that, I have set this up ready to go. To be reflashed. Now I've got it out too. So this is my RF bridge. So there's the RF bridge there, complete. There's your LED, 
LEDs there. There's your two antennas. There's a switch in the middle. I'm not sure what that's going to do, but I will put it, some information on that. But at the moment, this is working lovely. And the button doesn't work. Oh, well, we'll get to that. Anyway, um, keep watching, and hopefully you're enjoying the show. Um, I know I'm getting frustrated by the whole thing. I'm sure a lot of you get frustrated. I get frustrated with all the different um, software I have to use to do things. And then when you get into the software, something small will happen and cause you the lo a load of grief. And I'm sure everyone has that. And it drives you nuts. Anyway, I'm still working on the Google Home. It's up to the point where I can go. I've still got to fix up the input because I'm using um, uh, Pete's Scargill stuff. So here we go. Okay, Google, turn on the bedroom lamps. Turning on bedroom lamps as you command. Anyway, I've got that bit working. Anyway, that's it for me. There's my dog, Betsy, talking to someone out the front. And if you like this video, thumbs me up and please subscribe.